Hello everyone and welcome to Stock Kerbal Space Program 1.11. This is completely stock, no mods. For those who might not be familiar with my channel and just stop by to see a stock career happening in the latest version of Kerbal Space Program, I have mainly been spending my time this year playing with a whole bunch of mods and in fact making mods for Realism Overhaul, which is a set of mods that includes Real Solar System and fundamentally changes the nature of this game. I'm not the best stock player. I'm just gonna say that right out. And I'm gonna get confused by a lot of things because I'm so used to the flow of realism overhaul stuff, including the fact that you have limited engine ignitions, you have limited throttle range, you have all sorts of other business like Ullage selling the fuel down, and, and just the distances and everything. So, yeah, you'll have to be patient with me. Uh, on that stuff, and also the fact that I'm generally a fairly my pace kind of person. On the plus side, that means I am probably never gonna get burned out by things, but yeah, uh, that can irritate people who are sticklers for details. I, I am not. I am not a detail-oriented person. I am more of an artiste, but uh, we are going to start a new stock career. And uh, I'll just call it default, that's fine. I'll, uh, we've got, uh, there's a UK space agency, NASA, ESA. That's it? <laughs> I can't be like Russ Cosmos or JAXA. I guess we don't have a deal with those. Um, uh, I'll, I'll be fine. Uh, no, no, I'll be NASA. <laughs> okay, no, actually, I'll be the uh, B612 Foundation and we'll... Keep an eye out for ast uh, for asteroids. That's what the B612 Foundation is mostly about. All right, we'll do that. We'll, we'll, we'll try for asteroids. And I'll start with hard, but I'm going to make some caveats. Uh, let's see. No, that's all fine, I think. I'll oh, that's another thing you're going to have to be patient with me with. It's been maybe a year since I played with comms. So, yeah. That's fun. Um, enable Kerbal Experience. That's fine. Reco uh, I don't know why hard doesn't have require signal for control, surely. And Plasma Blackout, sure. And uh, maybe there's some reason why that's not automatically part of hard. But all right. We're going to go with this. Now, you might ask, well, why after all this time have I decided to try out stock? It's actually because of the little RCS ports. It's, it's crazy, I know, but I've always been frustrated by the big RCS ports. And you're going, are they really that big? Yeah, compared to Realism Overhaul and real RCS ports, they're big. So where are they? See, now I have to remember this tech tree. I haven't even played in a career mode in ages. So where are they? Yeah, there they are. All right. Uh, oh, it's variable thruster block now, huh? See, there used to be one kilonewton, and to give you an idea how crazy that is, on Apollo, which is a fairly large spacecraft, actually, going to the moon and all that, uh, the RCS ports are about uh, 0.44 kilonewtons. And so, in previous versions of the Kerbal Space Program, the RCS ports here were one kilonewton, despite the fact that we have reaction wheels to uh, turn the spacecraft, and things can be a lot smaller. So it was very inefficient because we're carrying fairly heavy RCS blocks. They were a lot heavier than this. I think they were 0.05, I forget. I thought they were point. Uh, is this a, Yeah, this is the regular one. This is the one that we had before. One kilonewton, sorry, 0.04 tons. That's really heavy compared to a tiny little probe. And it led to a lot of inefficiency. So I am thankful for little thruster blocks and these little guys because they're going to allow us to make much more efficient probes. And I'm a guy who really, really likes the ant engine. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I've, I've got a cer certain other kind of mentality, let's say. Okay, I'm going to go with the Mark 1 command pod, because this, this still doesn't has, have reaction wheels. I have both DLCs. I should have mentioned that up front. I have Making History and Breaking Ground. So be aware of that. This does not have a reaction wheel. This is not a tutorial. I'm not going to explain everything that I'm going to do. I'm assuming that you come in 
with some basic knowledge. In fact, uh, judging from my intro, you might guess that I'm expecting you to perhaps know more about stock than I do. That's why I was apologizing. <laughs> so, um, if we want, me, if if you need a tutorial, you just ask. Maybe I'll do one. So we don't have heat shields yet. We'll need those. Uh, they will be under this thermal category, and we don't have the couplers. So we're going to do the whole business where we're going to stick a flea underneath. And I'm going to, and we are going to make sure that the parachute and the flea are not in the same stage. Always good. And you can see the thrust weight ratio is 6.8, so I'm going to thrust limit the flea uh, to about a third. We'll do the trick just fine. And I believe that should do everything we need for the first feel. Uh, um, I'm just going to call this the flea. We'll call uh, we'll name it after the stage, but I want to check out the contracts. Launch our first vessel, yeah. Escape the atmosphere, not yet, but we might as well pick it up. Scientific data from Kerbin. Any oh, I should have just gotten that, but we'll do, we can do that anytime. It'll be fine. We'll do that with the atmosphere. Okay, so, uh, I guess we'll go with Jeb. I was thinking about going with Val, but we'll just go with Jeb. He's in there already. Okay, throttle up. Oh, I should have dumped the mod propellant. Um, no, let's just get on with it. And let's see, ignition. Oh God, the sounds are different too. <laughs> So different. We should do a. Whoa, God, there's inventory and everything. Crew report? Okay, um, keep. Let me see the parachute. Minimum pressure. I prefer it to be at least 0.25. We won't have any problems here, I don't think. Go. Oh. Uh, how close to the top of the VAB are we going to come? Not quite. Such G-forces with the parachute. Okay. And, um... Let me EVA, Jeb. Take the crew report. Board. And we are going to take another crew report. Uh... Yeah, from the crawl away. Okay, keep and recover. I'm not gonna science spam. Uh, I'm not trying to. In fact, rather than trying to go through the tech tree as quickly as possible, I'm rather trying to reverse. I'm gonna be trying to see what I can do with. Not real. Uh, I know because there are stock masters out there that there will be people who will be able to accomplish great things just with like initial technology down here. But I'm, I'm not, I'm aiming to do as much as I can casually with the lowest technology I, I can. So uh, I would like all of these things and all of those things. So I'm just gonna research both. Okay. And I want to, ooh, we've got a lot of things now. A lot of contracts. Ah, uh, they took away the... These are focused. I should have taken that one contract with the science instead of taking the atmosphere escape contract. Uh, hauling a flea might not be the worst thing. It might be that we could do this. I intend to use the flea as a retro engine so that we don't have intense forces on the way back down. So we have this, we have the swivel. And we have to watch our maximum part count and mass. Space flea. I want to activate advanced tweakables. 
because we will want auto strut capability. Oh, it is enabled already. All right, good. With all these tanks, I'm worried about that. So I'm going to auto strut. Oh, I guess we have to unlock struts before having auto strut. Well, there goes that plan. And we don't have launch clamps, so it's going to be freestanding like this. We'll see how it goes. This time, Val. Did we have any other science to put on? Yeah, we, we've got thermometer and goo. I'll I'll put the thermometer on, but not the goo for now. This might be a bad idea, we'll see. But Val can always parachute down, assuming she gets that far. Okay, let me keep an eye on the contract. Oh, I forgot to dump the mob propellant again. <laughs> this is going to be a thing because that's not something I needed to do in the modded version. Uh, okay, but... I'll just go with this and we'll see. I think we'll be able to achieve it, but we'll see. Let's get that on. All right, and launch. We're just going straight up and straight down this time. As long as we don't overshoot 70 kilometers by too much, we should end up between those speeds within those altitudes. This is going to be an interesting experiment as to when I kill my first Kerbal, isn't it? <laughs> it doesn't say orbital or surface, actually. But right now, since all of our speed is vertical, or nearly, or all of our velocity, nearly. Uh-oh, I need... Slow down, slow down. Uh, okay, well, maybe we'll get it back down. We'll, we'll have to get it when we're headed back down, I think. Okay, we've escaped the atmosphere, though. Let's have... I'll do a crew report. Keep. Oh, yeah, no, keep. Too fast. Let's lead some speed. Okay, it was surface speed. All right. Um, no, we're not gonna hit the mountains. Now I have interesting choices to make. <laughs> okay. Let's dump this stage. And for safety's sake, we'll drain it first. Uh, there is a way to drain stuff now, isn't there? Oh, I guess that's a special part. Okay. Dumping. Oh god. Oh! Ow! Okay, okay. Go away. Now, I don't know if the parachute can handle it. I don't think so. So I'm actually going to light the flea. Now. Oh, that was pretty good actually. go up and then I'll pop the parachute and then it'll come down a little bit softer. We did not destroy anything at the Space Center. That is good. Oh, the thermometer. There's the moon. It really does look like the Death Star right now, though. I should have, like, terrain scatter on or something. That's one of those trees you can investigate, isn't it? Terrain scatter would make it harder to find those.
Okie dokie. Recover. Alright. 11.2 science. XP for Val. I guess we need to get to orbit now. Test at launch site. We might use it. It might be a thing to use. Let's see though. We need a heat shield for the orbital flight. So down here, survivability it is. And we need, so that's all we can afford right now. Let me build the rocket for orbit first and then decide. Probably we're going to use the hammer as our first stage. And suddenly music. We do not need to flee anymore. Probably don't need all the ablator, but rather than make assumptions, I'll carry it and then we'll find out. We'll double stage it. And I would like the Delta V in vacuum. But I do need to keep an eye on the sea level thrust weight ratio, that's not too bad. This I'll just have thr uh, Thrall limited to 1.96 thrust weight ratio. This could be enough to get into orbit, but I don't want to take chances with bringing Val back down. So, Hammer. That does not exceed any of our limitations. That will give us the extra boost. Okay, I think that'll be fine. Space Hammer. Or Hammer without the violence. <laughs> anyway, um... Let's get, let's get the Hammer contract. I think we can do that. Assuming I understand the contract properly. I don't know... If we need to do anything with cargo right now, the EVA jetpack and personal parachute, we could probably dump the EVA jetpack, to be honest. I wouldn't dump the parachute. Uh, so that gets rid of the jetpack, that makes it lighter. And we can also finally dump the mob propellant, so that's helpful. Vacuum, nearly 4,000 meters per second there. Okay. Not that we need to throttle this engine, but SAS on, ignition. And I'm actually gonna have to steer this time. Yay. Not on this stage though. It's actually a little bit dodgy to do this without fins. Now we have control. Well, I mean, we always had control with the odds reaction wheel. So, past the speed of sound. A little bit deviating from 90 there. Trying to keep it on that prograde marker so that we don't flip or anything. Alright. Uh, separation and ignition. Oh, it's still got atmosphere. Ooh. I'm gonna shut down and coast where we've got an apoapsis of 100 kilometers. Um, we can't really EVA out to take the crew report off. I don't think we can do more than one crew report at a time still, so uh, we'll wait until... I mean, but space is space, so maybe we can take it here because we've done the space crew report already. And I don't think that's surface bio-independent. So we are in space. We did the hammer thing. So that was successful. Okay. There's our orbit. Doesn't really require us to bring Jeb back, does it? <laughs> That's not actually one of the requirements. Okay, but we will. And what we would like to do is not hit the mountains. Uh, so, either this side or that side, that's a, um, 
the east side is probably better. Well, that'll certainly do the trick. And doing it normal so that doesn't affect our periapsis much. Retrograde. Such power with these reaction wheels. It's shocking. Mm, Jeb doesn't know how to hold retrograde yet. Yes, I'm aware that the pod should automatically orient retrograde in theory. I just don't like to test that too much, if I can help it. If I took off SCS, it should, you know, r remain in this direction. But, you know, those mountains loom. Okay, we're out of the worst of it. Head for the water. Land seems sort of washed out, to be honest. We can take SA off, SAS off now. Only 27 ablation are used, so given margin, 50 will be fine. Okay. And this is our first time splashing down, so we should be able to get a report like that. How's the water these days? Okay, uh, can we get a second crew report immediately? Nope. Okay. EVA. Take data. EVA report. Can we reach all the way around the pod or not? Take data, alright. All right, board. So we can get the crew report and also the thermometer reading. All right, that's good enough. Recover vessel. So these have been the necessary beginnings of career mode. I mean, nothing too surprising so far. I did not completely embarrass myself. We'll see how it goes. So, yep. I, I don't know if this is going to be of interest to people, but I, I want to see what it's like with the new RCS ports, and we're not too far off from that sort of... Th well, okay, it's a little bit further away than I thought, but I will get there. We'll get there quickly enough, and we'll see. And I haven't really played much with the DLC parts at all, and they've got this new system that they have with Kerbal inventories that I haven't touched at all, so is it good enough as a replacement for Kerbal Inventory System? I don't know. Will I never need Kerbal Inventory System again? I doubt that that's going to be the case, but we'll find out. So anyway, with this having been our start and having reached orbit, we'll of course be trying for the moon next. So we will get that contract and maybe we'll need some other technology in order to accomplish it. But for now, I'll say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.